holy shit my hair looks like crap i dyed it yesterday so every time i dye my hair it has that weird shine to it at the beginning and i don't like it so yes <laughs> again with another video i am back finally oh my lord i look so weird <sighs> so guys i know you guys missed me obviously not <laughs> yeah. but i am back and if you guys already saw the title you guys know what this video is about i have like a massive pimple right here so i am looking at it and it's bothering me so yeah, but <laughs> if you guys are already side tag, you guys know what this video is about, and I am actually pretty excited about talking about this because I did mention a few videos ago that I wanted to make this story time, so that is why I'm going to be doing it, and it's going to be of my best friend, and I already made a video with kind of like the same title, but it was talking about my male best friend i'm gonna be talking about my female best friend and if you guys follow me on social media mainly uh instagram you guys could see that i usually post in my story a lot of like combos and it's between her and i most of the time so <laughs> let's get started i'm pretty excited so yeah i'm gonna give a little bit of backstory beforehand so i if you guys know i am a fan of k-pop and my favorite group at the moment and has been since 2014 is bts yes the well-known bangtang boys yeah i've been a fan of them since 2014 but obviously now that they're bigger i feel a little bit more comfortable talking more about them you know because they're bigger now and it's kind of like okay instead of before being like who <laughs> So, yeah, anyhow, I'm a huge fan of them. So, uh, online, I met two girls um, called Michelle and Marie Cruz. So, both of them became my friends online like a year ago. I'm not even exactly sure how long ago, but we've been friends for at least a year online. And they became friends online, both of them, with another girl called Kim. So... I would usually see my two friends tagging her and I in posts, but Kim and I never spoke. We never spoke to one another. I honestly, personally, for me, I never spoke to her because I was like, who the hell is this bitch, <laughs> to be honest? I didn't hate her, but I was like, okay, who is she? And sometimes I will see she would tag my two friends in different conversations saying like, oh, they're so sweet, they're so the best and all that. Which kind of makes sense why they weren't coming much into our group chat. They were more in that group chat. So it kind of did bug me a bit, but I was like, eh, whatever, right? So one day, <laughs> uh, I, this I don't really exactly remember when, but it was a little bit before we became like really close friends. But she added me on Facebook and she messages me and she's, she tells me the whole thing like, oh, I'm friends with Michelle Marie Cruz, blah, blah, blah. I saw you tagging stuff them tagging you and stuff so I want to tag you back so I'm like okay so she kind of like asked me who my bias is and you know stuff like that you know it's like BTS related stuff and it was just that day and then she's like okay and we didn't speak after that and then maybe a week or so later or probably I was added into the group chat and that was uh the 4th of July I remember it was the 4th of July because you know it was the 4th of July <laughs> kind of like one of those dates that is not like very generic it's kind of it's, it's a festivity i remember the fourth of july and it's when i was added into the group chat and her and i kind of connected in that moment like we were talking all four of us were talking in the conversation but her and i kind of had a little thing it was very small but we had our small thing going on in the conversation which did kind of like spark their a connection i guess and obviously little by little uh we started talking more privately just our own personal conversation until we just became i wouldn't say inseparable <laughs> because i mean we've only met once but conversation wise it was on the daily we spoke all day every day i got to know a lot about her just by talking online and stuff like that 
her and I would uh, always talk about like, well, mainly it would be in the group chat, but we would all talk about, we want to meet up, you know, it would be so cool. And I'm still waiting to meet up with Michelle and Marty Cruz, but yeah, we would always talk about it. It would be so cool to meet up. During that time, we, I mean, she knew we were sort of close by, but it was kind of like, yeah, we got to meet one day, but never really had a moment to meet up then one day it just she wanted to come visit me at my school and i was like okay so i gave her you know the my schedule and that time and <laughs> and then out of nowhere she's like i think i'm here and i'm like okay so i like go to her and i see her and i get so fucking excited i'm the type of person uh that wants to hug at like oh my god you know i'm so excited all the time like i love hugs i adore hugs why i don't know i just love to hug and be clingy i guess if that makes sense <laughs> i'm a clingy person i am not ashamed of it i am well when i saw her i immediately and i remember i was with my cousin because she was like i don't want you to meet a stranger alone <laughs> i'm like decent point though we're at school but decent point so she came with me and I saw her, and I mean, we always talk about she's tall, but boy, am I telling you, she's tall. <laughs> she's tall AF. I don't remember exactly how tall she is, but then again, I'm kind of short. I'm 5'3", I'm 5'4". Five five so I'm short-ish, but she is tall. <laughs> I, my, my... Oh, when I recorded the video, I think her el her shoulder was like over here or so, or here from me. Like I, I think I got to her shoulder, and I'm like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> She's tall. It's not fair. I mean, she always spoke about being so tall, but I'm like, now that I had her in front of me, it's like, bruh. <laughs> Look at the difference of height. <laughs> oh my god, I am. So Oh my god, I'm at your shoulder! Oh, I thought you were gonna be at my hip. <laughs> what the fuck do you think I fucking am?! <laughs> Anyhow, that day that I saw her, I remember a couple days before, um, well not a couple days, but uh, a, a month or so before, uh, their B new BTS uh, album came out, right? Their Love Yourself Answer album. And I had pre-ordered it uh, online. And it was a random choice, so I got one of the versions that I wanted, but it wasn't the one I wanted wanted. And I told her, oh, I really wanted this one. And I'm like, whoa, it doesn't matter. You know, I'm happy with the one I got. And uh, she said, oh, I'll buy you. I'll buy you the version you want. And I'm like, what? Like, no, 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 it's cool. You're, you're good. You don't have to buy me. I don't have money to pay you back. She's like, no, 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 I want to buy it for you. And I'm like, well, if you feel like it, I mean... <laughs> I feel bad when people buy me stuff, but beyond the point. So when I saw her, I immediately ran to her, but when I tried to hug her, I was kind of like, hey, oh, <laughs> like she's not much of a hugger. But I was like, I wanted a freaking hug, but whatever. And she brought her two kids with her. And um, I was like, oh my God, it's you, give me a hug. Uh, but anyhow, she gave me the album. It was all like, oh my God. God, I love you, I love you. <laughs> and funny story, if you are a fan of BTS, I guess you'll kind of get this, but every album has a poster, um, the photo album, and a photo card, I guess. And it's of a random member, right? And uh, my bias in the group is called Jimin. This handsome man right there. For me, it's Hamson, okay? Sa handsome. I mean, whatever. For me, he is. I don't give a crap what other people think. But <laughs> he's my bias. And um, during that time, it was her bias too. She also loved him. Right now, she's in love with Jin. So when when she got the album for me, she was like, I'll be so pissed if you get Jimin. I'm like, oh my god, it's so unlikely that I'll get my bias in the in this album. <laughs> And I open it and I get the freaking photo card that it is Jim and I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh my god. She's like, who did you get? I'm like, um, she's like, no way you did not get Jim and I'm like, yes, I did. She was 
so pissed at me. But I mean, it was funny. You know, it was it was like that moment, and that was like what, like ten minutes or not even ten minutes, five minutes of us seeing each other in person. Like we clicked in a way that it was like if we've been friends forever and we usually always meet up like it was not it was awkward for like the first minute or so when we were walking to the cafeteria and I was just like kind of like talking to our kids or asking her about your kids I wasn't really like making much conversation but once we went to sit down it was like we've been friends forever like we've been friends for the longest ass time and this is a normal thing we do like, it was so cool to be able to connect with her. Um, I do have a picture of, that we took that day. We took videos and pictures, and I would insert them all here, but I won't. But this picture, it's on my Instagram, so. And um, I really like that picture. I mean, I don't look the great, the greatest. I feel like she looks 10 times better than me in this picture. I mean, plus the filter. <laughs> but I feel like she looks cuter than me, and I'm like... It's kind of odd. I've never... How do I explain this? I I feel like I've never really connected this much with someone. She is... so hard to explain how much she means to me. She is... Okay, if you guys have ever seen Grey's Anatomy or fans of Grey's Anatomy, because I feel like if you've just seen it but you're not really into it, you won't understand. But if you're into Grey's Anatomy, you know the whole uh, thing with Meredith and Christina that they were super close and she called they called each other their person, right? That's what she is to me in that sense. Like, uh, I want to explain, like, she's like my soulmate, but not romantically. Like, we're just each other's half. But, again, not romantically. It, it, we're just... It's so hard to explain in words like I know how it feels she and it's kind of like we both feel the same way We both agree with this like she says she can't live without me. I say I can't live without her and we've been friends For what five months in this and we just feel so inseparable with one another and a lot of people might think like oh it's Just because it's a new friendship like it's different. I've had new friendships that feel so close, but it's it's never like this and we've only seen each other once. Most of the times when those new friendships that don't work out, they're from people I know at school or something. And it's kind of like, oh yeah, we're best friends. But then like, eh. With her, we only saw each other once. For two hours, maybe? Three hours? I don't remember how much. And that was it. And then we only talk. We only chat. We never, we don't even call each other. Or Skype or FaceTime, nothing. Like, it's just texting all the time. Sometimes we send each other voice messages, but it's only when we're too lazy to type. But that's that. Like, it's just that. And it's gotten to a point that everyone knows about her now. <laughs> everyone knows. Oh, yeah, Kim. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know. I just thought it was nice to talk about her with you guys because she, in these five months, have has changed my life very drastically and I mean it's kind of like the same way as like with my boyfriend like he changed my life instantly um when he entered it and she changed it a, a, in a different sense too I've always been super like it's been super hard for me to make friends like very 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 hard to make friends like it's not even funny so um, it's kind of hard for me to open up and thanks to her like she sometimes encourages me like uh, this past semester, it was so funny, um, my child development class started a little bit later. It was a shorter class, and um, it started after the semester had started, so like mid-semester. And I was like, I'm so nervous to go to this class, I'm not going to know anyone, it's going to be so awkward. And I remember perfectly, she, she was like, just talk to people. She's like, I feel you, I'm not like that too. She, she's, she's like me. She is another me, but white and tall. I'm, I'm Mexican and short. <laughs> so, but she is another me. We have pretty much the exact same likes. I'm saying pretty much because there's some things that she's like, I hate that. And I'm like, I love it. Or vice versa. But then there's other stuff that we're like, dude, that's me. Like, like that, right? So... We just understand each other in a different way. She says 
we usually fight a lot <laughs> very very often to be honest but it's just that we both fear that we're gonna be changed uh, and i mean like change as in like she's gonna get a new best friend or she feels i'm gonna get a new best friend and it's kind of like we always fight over that like no dude like we're best friends don't worry about it but besides that that is probably the only downfall about our friendship uh it's nothing else like she is she means the world to me like honestly she's been through some shit that i'm obviously i'm not gonna get into details because it's her shit not mine but she says that i've helped her a lot and i've been through my own shit she's helped me a lot with that so it's 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 amazing <laughs> uh i feel like i'm i'm saying too much about this <laughs> but this is just a video i wanted to make to tell you guys like this is the best thing that's ever happened to me um besides obviously like my boyfriend <laughs> but besides leaving out the romantic out of it this is pretty much the best thing because we have the same likes we understand each other we've been through very similar struggles we've dealt with very similar issues um we have very 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 extremely similar personalities um and emotional status i guess per se so we can relate very very hard on one another like i if i notice when she's being off because it's something i can just sense now just by a message and it's kind of like whoa <laughs> i guess that's the end of this video um uh, but then again this 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 bitch right there <laughs> picture of my my boo i call her my boo there's a lot of things i call her besides bitch and dumbass <laughs> i we call each other that it's out of kindness love i call her bitch dumbass <laughs> oh She's extra, so I call her extra. I call her Jen number two. Her bias is Jen from BTS, so she I call her Jen number two. Um, I call her my boo. I've never called anyone my boo, but just her, like, yeah, she's my boo. Um, my girl. She's my main girl. She's my only girl. Well, not really, but she's my main girl. So she's my girl um she's my wife and that's a long ass story about the whole wife thing but it's nothing romantic again it's just because of something that happened and i was like please marry me she's like okay okay we're married but not romantically um she's also my everything i call her my everything but again not romantic to friendship wise she's my soulmate she's my other half <laughs> but it's it's kind of like there's your everything when it's friendship and then there's their everything when it's romantic there's two different sides of it and i guess there is sometimes where your boyfriend or girlfriend can be both but for me i have my boyfriend and i have my best friend and both of them mean the extremely a lot to me so yes so guys that is it for this video hope you guys enjoyed i'm sorry i made this extremely long i talk a lot about my friends but again, I've been like wanting to make this video for a while, so if you guys have any further suggestions for future videos, you guys know I do have the designated email down below, or you can just contact me through social media. I see messages from there too and answer them. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> uh, this is going to be hard to edit because I need to find a bunch of pictures <laughs> and stuff. So yeah, and I haven't edited in a while, so... Yeah, going back to it. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.